So another part of Playgrounds that we can look at is the template section. So I'm actually in, I'll just jump out of here, I'm actually in the shapes section. So if we jump into shapes and start to have a look at it, basically it's got some already constructed code. And then when I press run my code, you can see there that it actually does what the code says on the side. Um, but I think some of the real benefits in, in regard to education is starting to manipulate code and actually change existing code to see what it does. So for example, we might say, uh, let's change the circle by double, um, double tapping and let's change it to a uh, rectangle down the bottom and run my code and see how that actually changes. So it's that kind of cause and effect is, is what I do here, does it reflect in, in what's coming across? And I can still move it around because it still says draggable. Um, but if I actually say make that false by tapping on it and run my code, um, it no longer becomes draggable, which is pretty cool. So if we go along the different canvases, we've got a whole range of different things that kids can manipulate code and actually have a little bit of a play, um, depending on what you're focusing on with your class. So for example, if I run my code here, you can see all the different things there. Um, I've got circles, I've got rectangles. And what we can do is maybe you're learning about maths, you're learning about um, radius. So you might up, actually up the radius here. I'll up it to five run my code again, and all of a sudden our circle gets a little bit bigger, which is fantastic. Uh, you might be looking at X and Y and where actually um, everything is, which is in interesting. You could have start to play around with your creating text. Um, you might uh, change that to a different word and then run your code there. And you can see there that we start to actually play around with the code and do different things. So we've got patterns, um, we've got making draggable, we've got when touch, different things happens. And so we can actually get kids to play around with the existing code and actually see what actually happens. So we might actually be learning about anti-clockwise and clockwise and actually manipulating the lines and so forth. Um, so there's some really, really good things there in the template sections of um, Apple Playgrounds and just fantastic ways of exploring exploring code and actually manipulating code and learning through that exploration. Paul Hamilton here signing